I'm joined from Las Vegas by a triumphant Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> Floyd, congratulations. Brian Kenny here. How are you? Uh, thank you. How you doing? I'm doing okay. You uh, know, b back at home, just uh, watching football. All right. Uh, you, did you watch your own fight? Uh, no. I, well, actually, yeah. I, I watched a little, little bit at my mom's house. I guess, you know, my mom, uh, she uh, uh, Tebow the fight, uh, or Tebow the fight. And I, wa I watched a little bit. What'd yeah. you think? Um, I could be better. I could be better. Yeah, like how? <laughs> yeah, well, a little bit more combinations. But you know, I've been off for I've been off for a while, so you know. But um, just I just want to I want to get back into the gym. He was tough. I was looking for the knockout. You know, I really wanted to knock. I was pressing the knockout. But you know, a guy with 50, 50 or more wins, he's he's one hell of a fighter. Um, I'm my own worst critic, so I can always get better. During your post-fight interview, Floyd, Shane Mosley was put right in front of you during uh, the interview. Yes, yes. Turned into a little dust-up. What happened there? Uh, well, um, Shane Mosley is a good fighter. I take nothing away from Shane Mosley. I just said, you know, the same way you, I respect you, I just want the same respect, you know. And when it's your night and you're a winner, and, you know, I sit back and just I'm, I'm proud of what you do. You know what I'm saying? If, if we meet down in the future, then we do. You know, we try to make the fight happen in uh, 1999 with Shane Mosley. Uh, I mean, they didn't want to fight. Then we tried to make the fight happen, I think, in 2005 or 2006. Uh, they didn't want to make it happen. And I guess he, he, come, he come into the ring trying to be disrespectful. And I just said, yo, disrespect me. It's my night. I mean, um, I've been off for a while, and I'm back in the sport. Just let me, let me, I'm just trying to make a little bit of noise. After that happened then, Floyd, does that help Shane's chances of getting a fight with you or hurt them? Well, I really don't know. You know, like I said before, I really don't know. Um, let me talk it over with, with my team and, once, and see what my team come up with and see what's the best scenario for Floyd Mayweather. Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto in November. What happens there? <laughs> I, I really don't know. You know, I know uh, Manny Pacquiao is he's he's made he's made some noise lately in the sport of boxing. But Miguel, Miguel Cotto, he's he's a force to be reckoned with. So when you bring the two together, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get an exciting fight. Are you really gonna trim back the lifestyle, Floyd? You look oh, yes, subdued. Yes. You look even subdued today. What, what's uh, going yeah. on? Well, you know, um, I you know I just want you know I just want to change my life. You know, just more laid back. You know, what I'm saying I'm a lot older now, a lot more mature. Uh, uh, lot, sm lot smarter. So you know, like um, I sold every, I sold all my cars. I'm, I'm, I'm down to just, uh, just I bought myself just one Rolls, one Rolls Royce. And, You're down to uh, your last Rolls. No, I bought a new Rolls Royce. Just one Rolls Royce. Okay. I sold, I sold everything. I just bought, bought me a new Rolls Royce and uh, just one Cadillac truck. That's enough for me. All right. So you, you still got a Cadillac truck, but you down to your last Rolls. Boy, well, you know my Rolls Royce. You, know, yeah. you know, yeah, really, my Cadillac truck. I got to go to the boxing gym. Right. right. <laughs> it takes me to the boxing gym every day. You can't keep it real in the Rolls going to the gym. Well, I got a lot of bags. I got like four or five <laughs> yeah, sure. duffel bags I got to take to the boxing gym. I want to see you in a minivan. Then we'll know you've, you've arrived. Uh, this is great, Floyd. Look, it's great talking with you. We're not going <laughs> to get on YouTube this way, though. Can you insult me? Say something to me at least? Give him something no, to chew on? I told you. My mother told me I don't have to do all that. She said go out there and just be you. You know, I, look, I was just kidding about you and me. But I'm, the week before the fight, you said a bunch of things about, you know, Emmanuel Stewart, Larry yes. Merchant. Yes, and yes. Uh, yeah, that was